Hey everyone. So uh, I'm just making a quick video here. I want to take you through this 2x48 belt grinder build that I'm making. Um, I'm sourcing the motor from a shred mill and then I'm keeping all of the electronic components the same uh, to simplify things. But here's the actual grinder itself. Uh, the body's completely made out of wood. I went with wood even though it's less rigid um, just because it's easier to work with. So I I laminated uh, this plywood double thick so it, it's pretty rigid um, it doesn't shake around too much but I'm just now finishing up and I'm kind of uh, coming across a couple potential issues that I just wanted to get a second opinion on see what any of you guys thought uh, especially if you've ever made a grinder from treadmill parts I'd like to see what you have to say um, but I'll, I'll start just by showing you where it's at right now uh, this is my control box and because it is a treadmill motor I get a soft start so right now the belt it's not tracking too well uh, it's kind of coming off to the left a little bit I think I can fix that just with the alignment of the motor um, but also I'm a little bit worried that my tensioner here isn't rigid enough and it's kind of wobbling a little bit back and forth which might be causing this belt to slip a little bit. Um, so that's to be determined. Let me know what you think on that one. And one thing I like about the treadmill that I got um, is that the problem with the soft start is that it starts uh, slowly every time so it's hard to get a precise speed control um, and so with this one it's nice because I've got different options so I can I have set speeds that I can change to just with the click and play. And see when that thing really gets going it starts wobbling all over the place um, so that's another issue I have just bringing this thing up to speed I don't know how it's going to handle that, so I need to do some testing there. Um, and the other thing I wanted to get a second opinion on is my control box. Um, it's a little bit cramped for space, and I'm, I'm worried that this is going to overheat just in this small box uh, whenever I'm using this grinder to grind knives. Uh, so let me know what you think on that one. I'm more of a mechanical guy, I don't know much about electronics, um, but just by the looks of it, it looks like this aluminum piece is a heat sink, um, and there's lots of copper in this pretty beefy piece, so it looks like it could generate a lot of heat, but I'm not sure. So let me know if you think that could be a potential issue moving forward, because I know that electronics and uh, heat don't always mix too well. Um, but apart from that, I'm pretty happy with, with how this is going. Uh, I guess I also need to figure out some sort of gasket system so that when this is down, it seals and I don't have a bunch of dust getting into the control box here. Um, but that, that's just about it. So let me know what can I do to make my tensioner more rigid. Do I need to be worried about my control box overheating? Um, and what do you think I can use as, as some sort of gasket to seal dust from getting into my control box? Um, so thanks guys, and I'd love to hear some advice from you all um, Just get a second opinion from other people who have done a similar build. Thanks